It's me, Bricky Brick, and look where I am. I'm with the Port Angeles Fire Department, and today we get to learn about fire trucks. I'm super excited. Come on, let's go. Some of these, okay? Wow, check this one out. 
<gasps> in this compartment, we have a chainsaw and some cords. We have different power tools in here so you can get anything down if it's something's in your way. Let's check this one out. Oh, check this out. This is a giant saw blade. And this one's for cutting down a bunch of different metal. You never know what kind of situation you're gonna be coming up on as a firefighter. Whoa, this is a big compartment. Check it out, these right here are chalk blocks and they are, can be wedged in different locations to level out different things. Wow, check this out. This right here has hoses, pumps, and nozzles. Oh my goodness, these can attach to a bunch of different lengths and widths of hoses. Look at this, you pull it up. You ready to hose down a fire, that's pretty cool. Look at the size of this hose. That can let out a lot of water really quickly. That's incredible. Well, check out this panel of gauges and pressure valves. This is really cool. So these right here, they're all color coordinated and they release the water out of these different areas. So this red comes out right here. You can attach a hose to this. Orange comes out on the other side. Do you want to go take a look? <laughs> Check it out. Here it is. It's orange. That comes out of the, the passenger side. And lastly, this blue one comes out right here. This is color coordinated so that the firefighters don't make a mistake and they can remember which ones they've released and which ones they haven't. Isn't that so awesome? Wow, you see all these hoses right here? They're all folded really nicely so that a firefighter can rip it out as fast as they can and attach it to the pump they need to. And look at over here. This is an electrical box so that they can plug in any power tools. That's really awesome. Now we're on the other side of the truck. You want to check this compartment out? Whoa, check it out. There's a bunch of ropes and harnesses in here. So if they're on top of a big building and they need to repel down, they can harness up. You remember like when I was rock climbing? Isn't that so cool? They really are prepared for anything. Whoa, check out these big tools. We've got three different axes, some bolt cutters to cut some locks off doors or anything they need to. We've got this big pry bar so you can pry open a door or lift something up. Oh man, and look, there's even more back here. Whoa, we've got a shovel right here, a sledgehammer, some bigger bolt cutters. Oh boy, these tools are so huge and incredible. stretcher and if someone's really injured and they're not responding they can lay them down on that and carry them out of the building or to safety whoa well before we check out the cab i kind of want to get dressed up like a firefighter that way i can feel like a real life hero come on let's go get a suit on You can see that this material is really thick and it's fire resistant. Isn't that awesome? Well, I think it's time we try on one of these big suits. So the first thing you do is you slip your feet into the boots.
but you gotta be super strong. We're gonna do some push-ups just to make sure we're in tip-top shape. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's count out loud to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flashlights that's awesome what's this Adam that's a thermal imaging camera it can sense what heat it is oh wow so if someone's in a building you could kind of look and see where they are huh exactly you can see where the fire and where the people are that's... even if it's dark oh that's really cool whoa check this out this is where the driver sits to drive this big thing and that seat over there that passenger seat that's where the officer sits and he's kind in charge of this whole operation, telling everybody what they're gonna do and where the plan is. That's really awesome. Wow, check out all these buttons. We've got a radio right here, some more buttons, and all these gauges. Wow, it takes a lot to operate this big ladder, Chuck. I have so many questions. Wow, Adam, so how long have you been a firefighter? In total, I've been a firefighter for three years. Wow, that's really cool. What does it take to become a firefighter? Lots of training and lots of studying. And oh, a lot of boy. hard work. Oh, man, it looks like it. So, Adam, how long is this fire engine? It's 53 feet. Whoa, that's really long. And does it hold water? No, we have to hook up a fire hydrant right here to get water. Oh, boy, so does every fire truck not hold water, or do some fire Fire trucks hold water. Just a couple, like the one behind you, that one holds 500 gallons. Wow, 500 gallons, that is a lot of water. But this ladder truck, it doesn't hold water. So we're gonna hook up a, this ladder truck to a fire hydrant and see what it takes to get this thing pushing water out to a fire. Doesn't that sound exciting? Come on, let's go.
truck. Isn't that awesome? Wow, so this hydrant right here, it releases 2,800 gallons per minute. That is a lot of water. Wow, so now that we've got that hose out, we've got to fold it back up properly and put it back for the next trip. And Cameron's gonna help us do that. So the first thing you gotta do is straighten it out so there's no kinks in it. Fire Department. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.